Hello, dear students. I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. We have already discussed 20 objective questions from polynomial. Today, I'm discussing some more questions which may be asked in this year because this year the examination will be by new pattern according to national education policy. So it is assertion and reason type of questions. Though a multiple choice question, but they are slightly different. So we'll go one by one. So I'm starting the questions from 21. 21, which of the following is not a graph of quadratic polynomial? We have to see minutely the options. It is not touching your x-axis. Here it is touching at one place. Here it is touching at two places. And here it is touching at three places. You know that the it touches or intersect the x-axis. COU number of zeros. I repeat. Number of zeros of a polynomial. times it cuts x-axis. So, C or D, D it is intersecting at 3. So, when it is intersecting at 3, that is a cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial, graph of cubic polynomial. The question is, which of the following is not a graph of quadratic polynomial? So if this is a cubic polynomial, then it is not quadratic. Thinking about A, it is not touching. That means it is not polynomial. Yes, it is polynomial, but it will be a quadratic equation but it will have no real roots. Mm -hmm. So you should not confuse about this. D is the answer of this question, not quadratic polynomial scrum. So this answer. Twenty-two. Here, as I discussed, the neon pattern, one is assertion, 2 minus root 3 is 1, 0 of the quadratic polynomial. Then other 0 is 2 plus root 3. This reason is irrational zeros always occur in pairs. Now the options are A, both assertion A and reason are true. And reason R is the Correct explanation of assertion of A. Second is both assertion A and reason R is true, but reason R is not the correct explanation of assertion A. C, assertion A is true, but reason R is false. These assertion A is false and reason R is true. Let me explain what is assertion. Assertion is a confident or true statement. True statement. Reason you know that it should be the reason of this. Now, 2 minus root 3 is 1 of the 0 of the quadratic polynomial, then other 0 will be 2 plus root 3. It is correct because whenever you will get a rational number, another 0 must be 2 plus root 3. It's conjugate. So it is true. Now, reason is irrational zeros always occur in pairs. This is also true. Because whenever a plus root b will be a zero, other zero will be its conjugate a minus root b, another zero. So they, they 
occurs in pair. So both the things you must know to find whether they are true or false. So the answer will be both assertion A and region R are true. And region R is the correct explanation of assertion A. So A will be the answer. Question number 23. Question number 23. The assertion if one zero of the polynomial bx is equal to k square plus 4x square plus 13x plus 4k is reciprocal of other than k is equal to 2. Its reason is given that x minus alpha is a factor of px when p alpha is 0 and alpha is 0 of px. Now the options are both assertion a and reason r are true and reason r is the correct explanation of the assertion a. Both assertion a and reason r are true but reason r is not correct explanation of assertion a. Assertion A is true, reason R is false. Assertion A is false, reason R is true. So this is a very um, tricky question and a higher order thinking question. See first one, assertion, which is a confidence statement. You have to find whether it is a wrong, wrong true or false confidence statement. So one zero of the polynomial, polynomial is k square plus four x square plus 13 x plus four k. One zero is reciprocal of other. So if one is alpha, then other is one by alpha. You know product of zeros. Product of zeros is equal to c by a. Here, C is your 4K and A is equal to K square plus 4. So product of zeros will be alpha into 1 by alpha because they are reciprocal to each other. One is alpha, one is 1 by alpha. So this gives you 1. This is equal to C by A. What is C? C is 4K. What is A? A is K square plus 4. So this is equal to alpha in, into 1 by alpha is A. So we are getting the relation k square plus 4 is equal to 4k or k square minus 4k plus 4 is 0. This gives me k minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 or k minus 2 is 0 then k is equal to 2. So let us read the Fact again, if one zero of the polynomial px k square plus 4x square plus 13x plus 4k is reciprocal of other, then k is equal to 2. Yes, k is equal to 2. So this is true. Now coming to reason. x minus alpha is a factor of px. Then p alpha is 0. Alpha is called 0 of px. This is also true. This is also true. But, but, this is not the reason for the first one. Because this first assertion we explained in other way. Explanation was different. Here, this, this fact is different. So, reason is explanation of the assertion. Think of which one will be correct. First is both assertion A region are true, yes, and region R is correct explanation of assertion, no. This is not correct explanation. 
both SS and A and reason R are true, but reason R is not correct explanation. Yes, this is correct. So B is answer. Next question. Px assertion Px equal to 14 x cube minus 2 x square 8 x to the 4 plus 7 x minus 8 is a polynomial of degree 3. Reason is the highest power of the x in the polynomial Px is the degree of the polynomial. Options are both assertion A and reason are true and reason R is correct explanation of the assertion A. Both assertion A and reason R are true but reason R is not correct explanation of assertion A. Assertion A is true, but reason R is false. Assertion A is false, but reason R is true. So let us go one by one. First, I'm going for assertion. Px is equal to 14x cube minus 2x square plus 8x to the power 4 plus 7x minus 8. Here, to find the degree, what we go? We go for the highest power. Highest power is 4. So its degree is 4. Here it is given degree 3. So it is not correct. It is a false. It is not true. So assertion is false. Now coming to reason part. This is also a statement you have to find whether it is true or false. The highest power of x is the polynomial px is the degree of the polynomial. Yes, this is the definition. This is all true. So which one will be the correct answer? Correct answer will be D. Assertion A is false, but reason is true. This is the this is a statement, correct statement, because the highest power of x polynomial is the degree of the polynomial. 25. Assertion x is q plus x is only one real zero. The reason is the polynomial nf degree must have n real zeros. Options are both assertion a and reason are true. And reason R is the correct explanation of assertion A. Both assertion A and reason R are true, but reason R is not the correct explanation of assertion A. Assertion A is true, but reason R is false. Assertion A is false, but reason R is true. Okay. So let us see for assertion X is Q plus X. How many zeros we have to find out? So if I we'll take x common, then it will be x square plus one. So here either x is zero, either x is zero or x square plus one is zero. If x is zero, this is a root. This is a zero of the polynomial. If x square plus one is zero, then x square is equal to minus one, then you are not getting any real value of x. So no real value. It means it is only one zero that is your zero. Only so this assertion is true. A polynomial of nth degree must have n real zero. No, it is a false because already now we got the value, got the answer. But it was a x s cube, x s cube plus x. It was a cubic, but we got only one real zero. It is not true that if it has a power n, it will be having n values, n zeros may not be possible sometimes. So this is a false. So which one will be answer? Assertion A is true, but reason R is false. So I think C will be the correct. This is correct, C is correct answer. Next 
26. The question is, if both zeros of quadratic polynomial x square minus 2kx plus 2 are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign, the value k is half. Region is some of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus bx plus c is minus b by a. Assertion A region R is true. Region R is correct explanation of assertion A. Both assertion A and region R are true, but R is not correct explanation of assertion A. Assertion A is true. Region R is false. Assertion A is false. Region R is true. So going for assertion, both zeros of the quadrilateral polynomial x square minus 2kx plus 2 they are equal in magnitude and opposite in sign, equal in magnitude and opposite in sign and the value of k is half. So if I'm putting k is equal to half here, it is becoming x square minus 2 into half into x minus 2, that will be x square minus x minus 2. So can you get equal zeros here? For equal zeros, you will know that b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. If you take the b square minus 4ac, 1 square minus 4 into minus 2, it is not equal to 0. It will be 9. So it has no real roots. It is no equal roots. So for k is equal to half, k is equal to half, we are not getting equal magnitude, equal roots. So this is a false statement. Sum of zero of the quadratic polynomial is minus b by a. We know that it is a true fact. Sum is always equal to minus b by a. So this is a true fact. So which one is answer? D will be the answer. A person is A is false, but reason R is true. D is answer. Twenty-seven. The graph of y is equal to px. Px a polynomial in value of x. Then the number of zeros in px. So we have discussed this. You will count the number of times it is cutting x-axis. Only x-axis, not y-axis. So one here, one, one. So how many, how many times it is cutting? Five times. So number of zero will be five. So D is answer. The equation k minus one x square minus 10 x plus three is zero is the reciprocal of other than the value of k is 2, 3, 4, 5. If 1, 0 is reciprocal of other, product is equal to 1 product of zeros is equal to 1. So c by a is equal to 1. This gives you c is equal to a. So this is a very useful information. So here in this particular equation, your a is equal to k minus 1 and c is equal to 3. So k minus 1 is equal to 3. This gives you k is equal to 4. C is answer. Twenty-nine. If alpha and beta are roots of a x square minus b x plus c is equal to zero, then the value of alpha plus beta. We know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. So here minus again minus b by a. So this will be b by a is the answer. So a b by a b is a by b, 2a by b, a by 2. So 
it is answer. Thirty. In given figure, graph of polynomial p x is shown the number of zeros. So it is very simple. Only count the x axis. The number of times it cuts x axis. It is cutting at one place only. So the number of zeros will be one. A is the answer. The sum of zeros of the quadratic polynomial 3x square minus k x plus 6 is 3. Then the value of k is what? 1, 4, 6, 9. Sum of zeros is 3. So alpha plus beta is equal to 3. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. So here in this equation, this is a and b is your minus k. So this will be minus minus k by 3. This is equal to 3. So k is equal to 9. So d is answer. Zeros of the polynomial k p x equal to 4 x square minus 12 x plus 9 will be 3 by 2 and 3 by 2. So 4x square plus minus 12x plus 9 is a complete square. It is 2x minus 3 whole square. So this is 2x whole square plus 3 whole square minus 2 into 2x into 3. So this will be 2x minus 3 whole square. So when it is a whole square, this is equal to 0. So you are getting 2x is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 by 2. So both roots are 3 by 2, 3 by 2. 3 by 2 and 3 by 2. So A is the answer. If minus 1 is a 0 of the polynomial x square minus 7x minus 8, then other 0 is what? 1 is minus 1. So go for the product of the roots. Product of zeros is equal to c by a. What is c here? c is minus 8. So this will be minus 8 by 1. Minus 8. And 1, 0 is minus 1. So into next, let the second root is beta is equal to minus 8. So beta is equal to 8. So the root is 8. B is the answer. Options are 4, 8, 1, minus 4. So if this is the answer. You can also verify. X square, this is minus 8x plus x minus 8, taking common x minus 8 and plus 1 into x minus 8 plus 8. So x minus 8 into x plus 1. So this gives you minus 1, this gives you 8. Alpha and beta are zeros of the polynomial 2x square minus 4x plus 5, then alpha square plus beta square. So if a equal polynomial is x square plus bx plus c, then you will know that alpha and beta are zeros. We get alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a. If you don't know, then you can write down and remember. So in this particular question, a is 2, b is minus 4 and c is 5. You have to find alpha square plus beta square and the options are minus 7, 1, minus 1, minus 6. From these two, we'll get the values. First, we'll write alpha plus beta, how much? It is minus b by a, so 4 by 2, that will be 2. And alpha into beta is equal to c by a, that will be 5 by 2. Now, let us come to alpha square plus beta square. To get this, you should know a formula. What is it? Alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So alpha plus beta whole square is equal to 2 square. I am putting this 2 in place of alpha plus beta. Minus 2 into alpha beta. I am 
putting my 5 into minus 2. So 2 to cancel, this is 4 minus 5. This will be minus 1. So minus 1 is the answer. What is it? C. C is the answer. But I hope you have remembered. I am writing again. Alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Next, if zeros of the polynomial x square plus 4x plus twice a are a and 2 by a, 1 0 is a, 1 0 is 2 by a, then the value of a is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1 is a and 1 is 2 by a. So, what should be their product? Product is your twice a. See? Here a is 1, b is 4, c is 2, 2a. Two when you say product of the roots, one root is a and other is 2 by a, this is equal to again 2 by a, 2a, c by a. Product is equal to C by A. C by A means 2A by 1. So to cancel 2, I, 2 times of A is 2. This gives you A is equal to 1. So A is answer. Zero of this polynomial x square minus 2x are 2 and 4, 1 and 3, 0 and 2, 0 and 4. So, x square minus 2x, just make it 0. Take x common, x minus 2 is 0. So, either x is 0, this is a 0. And x minus 2 is 0, this gives you x is equal to 2. So, 1, 0 is 0. 1, 0 is 2. So, c is the answer. The zeros of the quadratic polynomial under root 3 x square plus 8x plus 4 root 3 are 2 root 3 and root 3, 2 root 3 and 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 and root 3 and 2, root, 2 by root 3 and 2 root 3. So root, under root 3 x square minus 8x plus 4 root 3, you can you can factorize splitting the middle term. It will be product of the will be 12, 4 root 3 into root 3. And sum will be 8. So you can break as 6 and 2. So root 3 x square minus 6x minus 2x plus 4 root 3. This is equal to root 3 taking common x minus 2 root 3, 2 taking common x minus 2 root 3. So this will be x minus 2 root 3 multiplies root 3 minus x minus 2. So either x minus 2 root 3 is 0. So this gives you x is equal to 2 root 3 and 3x minus 2 is 0. This gives you root 3x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 by root 3. So 1 is 2 root 3, 1 is 2 by root 3. Certainly d will be the answer. P and Q are zeros of the polynomial 2x square minus 7x plus 3. Then what will be P square plus Q square? We have already discussed it. P square plus Q square is equal to P plus Q whole square minus 2PQ. So here P plus Q is equal to minus B by A. That means 
7 by 2 and PQ is equal to C by A that will be 3 by 2. We will get P square plus Q square using the formula. Options are given 39 by 5, 5 by 39, 37 by 4, 4 by 37. So it will be 7 by 2 whole square minus 2 into 3 by 2. So 49 by 4 minus 3. So 49 minus 12 by 4. That will be 37 by 4. So previously the root was zeros were given alpha beta. Now they have given P and Q. But the relation will remain same. Sum of zeros will be minus B by A. Product will be C by A. So here A is 2. B is minus 7. C is 3. And this formula you have to remember to solve this question. Next is the zeros of the polynomial Px is equal to Ax square plus Bx plus C are reciprocal of each other. If I have discussed this, when zeros are reciprocal to each other, each other, that means product is equal to 1 of zeros is equal to 1 or c by a is equal to 1 this gives you c is equal to a here this is c this is a so a is equal to c where is the answer first is b is equal to 2a no so no no this is answer d is answer and beta are zeros of 2x square minus 4x plus 5 then find the value of alpha minus beta whole square the options are 2 1 minus 1 minus 6 so here a is equal to 2 a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 4 c is equal to 5 then sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a so 4 by 2 and alpha into beta is equal to c by a that is 5 by 2 this is 2 now alpha minus beta square you can write down this will be alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta you need to remember this formula to solve this question so this will be alpha plus beta 2 square minus 4 into 5 by 2. This will be 4 minus 2 minus 10. That will be minus 6 is the answer. That is minus 6. D is answer. Select the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are reciprocal of the zeros of the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c is c whose zeros are reciprocal to this zeros of this ax square plus bx plus c if alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial Then we have to get the equation whose zeros are 1 by alpha and 1 by beta. The options we will see later. The options are bx square plus x plus c, x square plus cx plus d, cx square plus bx plus a, bx square plus cx plus a. So alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Alpha into beta is equal to C by A. Now when zeros are 1 by alpha, 1 by beta, then sum will be what? It will be alpha plus beta by alpha beta. So it will be minus B by A by C by A. So A, A cancel. This will be minus B by C. And 
product will be 1 by alpha into 1 by beta, that will be 1 by alpha beta. So it will be A by C, 1 by C by A, that will be A by C. Now we will frame the equation. The equation is x square minus sum into x plus product. It will be x square minus sum is minus b by c x plus product is a by c. So it will simplify. This gives you x square plus bx by c plus a by c. Again, simplification, it will be cx square plus bx plus a. So when zeros of one polynomial is reciprocal of zeros of other polynomial, that is ax square plus bx plus c, only the c and a will change the place. So it will be cx square plus bx plus a. So c is the answer. Which of the following are zeros of polynomial 2x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus 6? 2, 3, half, above all. All are the. So it is a cubic polynomial. First, we'll go for the factor theorem. Or I can test for each. So this will be minus 9 plus 17 plus 8, non zero. So I am putting 2 here to see whether it is 2 is a 0 of this polynomial. So 2 into 2 cube is 8 minus 11 into 2 square plus 17 into 2 minus 6. So this will be 16, 44 plus 34 minus 6, it will be 50 minus 50, 0. Yes, 2 is a 0. Next coming to 3. So 2 into 3 cube minus 11 into 3 square plus 17x minus 6. This is equal to 3, 3, 3, 27, 54. Minus 99, 3, 17 into 3, plus 51, minus 6. So this is also 0. So 3 is root. 3 is a 0. Next coming to half. So 2 into half q, minus 11 into half square, plus 17 into half, minus 6. So this will be 2 by 8 minus 11 by 4 plus 17 by 2 minus 6. So 8 is the LCM, 2 minus 22 plus 64, 68 minus 48. This is also 0, 0 by 8 is 0. So this is also a root. So above all is the answer. All are zeros. So D is answer. The teacher asked 10 of the, his students to write a polynomial in one variable on a paper and then hand over the paper. The following were the answers given by the students. 2x plus 3. These are the polynomial 3x squared plus 7x plus 2, 4x cube plus 3x squared plus 2x cube plus 3x plus 7, 7x plus root 7, 7, 5x cube minus 7x plus 3, 2x squared plus 3 my, uh, minus 5 open x, 5x minus half, x cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d, x plus 1 by x. Now the question is, there are two questions to uh, solve. How many of this above 10 are not polynomial? 
2, 3, 4, 5. So let us see which are not polynomial. This is not a polynomial because x is the under root. This is not a polynomial, it's 5 open x. This is not also a polynomial. Is there anything? No. All other are polynomial. So 1, 2, 3. So 3 are not polynomial. This is 5x minus. Let us check again. So polynomial means when x have no exponent, reciprocal rational number or negative number. So here x is power minus 1. Here x is power half. Here x is power minus 1. So these three will not be the answer. How many of above 10 are quadratic polynomial? Quadratic 1. This is quadratic. This is a linear. This is linear, linear. Quadratic. This is not a polynomial. So one, only one quadratic polynomial. If I have given alpha, beta, zeros of the quadratic polynomial, alpha plus beta is equal to 24. Alpha minus beta is 8. Take the quadratic polynomial having alpha, beta as zeros. So you know that alpha plus beta is equal to 24. Alpha minus beta is equal to 8. First you will solve these two to get alpha and beta. Then you will go for x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta. You will put the answer. Okay, so solve it. Just add them. Two alpha. 2i alpha is equal to 32, alpha is equal to 16. Now, if alpha is 16, beta is equal to 8. Get the sum, sum is equal to 24, and product is equal to 128. So, x square minus 24x plus 128. So, this will be answer of this quadratic equation. Now, now let us check it. x square minus no. x square minus 24x plus 128. So this is the answer. B is answer. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching and thank you for subscribing my channel.